Good day, our sisters and brothers, we wish you a wonderful day filled with the warmth of the sun and the love it brings. As we embrace the start of each morning, may we be surrounded by the holy grace and kindness of Jesus Christ. May God shower His blessings upon you, ensuring a morning and an entire day filled with goodness and positivity. In a recent and remarkable occurrence atop a hill in Texas, an individual reported a sighting of the image of Pope Benedict XVI. This extraordinary event prompted the urgent presence of Father Oliveira, who, upon arriving at the scene, received a startling and urgent warning from the former Pope regarding the destinies of both the United States and Europe. The circumstances surrounding this encounter are shrouded in mystery, as the message from the last Pope unfolds, potentially bearing significant implications for the future of these regions. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. A morning filled with prayers promises a day of blessings, while an evening spent in prayer assures a night of peaceful rest. Before delving into the core content of this video, let's take a moment to come together and engage in prayer. Prayer come, O Spirit of understanding, and enlighten our minds, that we may know and believe all the mysteries of salvation, and may merit at last to see the eternal light in thy light, and in the light of glory, to have a clear vision of thee and the Father and the Son. Amen. O my God, Thou knowest my great poverty and misery, and that of myself I can do nothing, Thou knowest how unworthy I am of this infinite favor, and Thou alone canst make me worthy. Since Thou art so good as to invite me thus to Thyself, add this one bounty more to all the rest to prepare me for Thyself. Never let me be guilty of Thy body and blood by an unworthy communion. For the sake of this same precious blood, which Thou hast shed for me, deliver me, O Jesus, from so great an evil. Amen. As the faithful gather to reflect on this unusual event, there is a sense of heightened anticipation and curiosity about the specific details and implications of the warning received from Pope Benedict XVI. On a quiet hill in Texas, something amazing happened that got everyone talking. A person passing by noticed a surprising sight, the clear image of Pope Benedict XVI appearing almost like magic. People in the area quickly heard about it, and everyone became curious. Father Oliveira, a devoted priest, heard about this special event and felt a strong desire to check it out. With a sense of duty and interest in spiritual matters, he hurried to the hill, where there was a feeling of something very important. When Father Oliveira reached the top, he was amazed by the vision of Pope Benedict XVI, a sight that was both confusing and impressive. The air felt special as if something sacred was happening. As Father Oliveira looked at the image, a deep quietness took over the hill, showing that something extraordinary was going on. In a moment of deep connection, Father Oliveira received a surprising and urgent message from the ghostly image. The former Pope, in a vision that was more than just ordinary, shared a mysterious warning about what might happen to the United States and Europe. Only Father Oliveira knew the details of this message, and he thought a lot about what it could mean for the world. The hill, once a peaceful place, became a center of attention as people wondered about the extraordinary event and what it might mean for them. Now, the message will be shared with all of you. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and King Jesus Christ is deeply saddened by these naive kids who live half-lives and invite evil into their lives. People become victims of self-inflicted misery due to their stupidity and the misuse of free will, 
and it will be impossible for them to escape this suffering unless they accept that God is the Lord. America and Europe must be careful because a huge storm is about to damage Texas and then spread all over this country. A serious message is being shared with both America and Europe, advising everyone to be very careful and ready. There's a big storm coming, and it's not just any storm, it's so huge that it's expected to cause a lot of damage. It will start by hitting Texas and then spread all across the country. This upcoming storm feels pretty scary, and it has the potential to cause a lot of problems and chaos. To deal with it, we need to plan carefully and be ready for anything. People in different communities should work together to get ready for emergencies and support each other. Everyone must be strong and ready because this storm is a big challenge that we need to face together to keep everyone safe in America and Europe. I call on you to follow through. This is not the moment to waste your life away, rather, you must live according to who you truly are on the inside. God's people stand before blessings, but in the same way that you draw evil with your unrestrained actions and conduct. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, you will suffer as a species because of the ongoing volcanic reactions that will cause massive eruptions and hinder you from carrying on as things are now. To keep the irreversible damage caused by volcanic eruption gases from happening, entire towns will be relocated to safer locations. Mary loves you, protects you, and blesses you. Matthew 16 verses 18 to 19 And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. In this passage, Jesus is speaking to Peter and the declaration that, You are Peter, and on this rock, I will build my church, is seen by some as a symbolic foundation for the papal authority in the Catholic Church. Now, let's join and pray. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil, may God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.